good morning good afternoon good evening wherever in the world you are watching this lovely moon dust silver ford transit korea trend 1.5 eco blue 100 ps six speed manual walk around video from cool. it's a bit of a mouthful isn't it to start these videos good memory anyway so this little moon dust silver korea trend van Let's talk you through some of the specs, some of the features, everything you need to know about this lovely little van. So beginning around the front bumper, the first thing to note, we can see your front parking sensors down the bottom there. We've got like a protective hard plastic durable liner at the bottom there. So if you are out and about on site, getting the van dirty, getting the van roughed and toughed, and keep it protected. We don't want any body repairs here, sir. A lot cheaper to repair plastic these days with some very clever trim tech guys around so a nice way of keeping costs down if you know this is going to receive a bit of abuse so we have four steel wheels on this vehicle they are 16 inches and they're all matched up with 15 inches sorry guys i'm really bad at my sizing 15 inch steel wheels with some nice covers over the top Brand new tyres. Well, I say brand new. This vehicle has only done 1,400 miles, ladies and gentlemen. So I say good as new on those thousands of miles of trouble free motoring on those tyres. So again, it's the lovely moon dust silver. And doesn't that look gorgeous in this late afternoon sunshine? So we'll give you as much as we can in terms of reflections. But now we've arrived at the rear. So we've got two opening doors and parking sensors found around the bottom. We'll have a little look inside in a minute. Don't be impatient, just want to do the near side. So there's the near side of the vehicle. In there like so. Let's put the near side front. Nice large wing mirrors. So we do have a sliding door on the near side of the vehicle. So we the passenger side. And we can see a little bit inside the rear. So it's nicely ply lined, screwed down, cut out to size. It's brand new. I don't think anything's been in the back of here, to be honest with you. But uh, we'll show you from this angle. What I'll do is I will shut that properly. Otherwise, it's only going to beep at, beep at me when I get inside the vehicle. So we've got the predominant larger door on the near side. So as we open that up, we also do have these lovely little locking systems. So if you need to open the doors even wider, it can be done like that. Another little... A little catch on here to open the offside door and again so you can either have it coming out what do i call it vertical horizontal have it coming out straight shall we say or you can open them up completely for wider uh, objects to be loaded again really top condition ply looks yeah looks brand new as you can see for yourself uh, so there's a bit of the inside a bit of the bulkhead there as well and we've got ply lined on either side We've got the LED lighting in the rear. So really nice and light. You can see what you're doing. You have some straps down there to keep things secure as well. Um, people like the, uh, the animal references. Um, I reckon you get one large buffalo in here, like an adult buffalo. You gotta climb up, sit down, no worries. So if you've got any buffalo, you need somewhere to store it. Change it, oh, wrong door. This one goes first, shut that one. Tuck that one, your buffalo's nice and secure. Cool. Let's go through my head this afternoon. Okay, so let's look inside the cabin. Now we can see some of the different bells and whistles. Electric front windows and electric mirrors are found on the driver's door card just below the door handle. I folded my little uh, floor mat away to show you this really hard wearing, durable rubber at the bottom. So, again, if you're on site, in and out of sight, and you've got dirty boots. It's going to be nice and easy for you to clean up after yourself. We have cloth interior, which has got this nice little pattern on it. Really comfortable, really padded. And again, keep you nice and comfy. Lots of controls on the seat, whether it be tilt, height adjustment. And we've got a rail down there, so I'm sure you'll be able to get comfortable. Here we can see all your light controls. Personally, I turn it around to automatic. You've got a sensor there somewhere. And it will sense it getting dark, then put the lights on for you. Don't make a mess. Put that back. Jump inside. 
okay so conventional key in the conventional key hole foot on the clutch start the engine okay so this is your sync 3.4 module ladies and gentlemen just turn the blowers down a little bit there we are sync 3.4 module uh, fully compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so whatever is your poison, plug your phone in using a data cable into the USB port here, sir, and take advantage of all the features that you can use on your phone. So it will mirror your phone onto this screen. We do have forward navigation as standard. So, for example, if we were to click in navigation, it's going to ask us to accept a license to make sure we're doing anything unlawful whilst driving, officer. And there you have it. This is your forward navigation. Very easy to use if you click in the right button click your search button then it will work, come up with where you need to input your address so you come out there I'm going to go home again yeah, the phone, uh, vehicle does support Bluetooth so if you want to collect your phone via Bluetooth that is where you will do so in there so it's a really nice easy system to use a few buttons below it to navigate through all your media one to turn it off one to tune the radio and uh, the screen can get quite bright at night time so you can turn it off completely or, you know, it's a nice function to have. Heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls can be found below the screen. We have four different fan speeds, we have free circulation, air conditioning and obviously an electrically heated front screen. So quick clear in the winter when it gets fogged up, really nice feature to have. I have a little series of buttons below, well this one not actually a button, it's just the information regarding the passenger airbags. You can turn the traction control on or off turn automated stop start on and off and turn your parking sensors off as well 12 volt socket if you're on site you're running late for work and you haven't charged up your drill for the day whack it in there and get it charged up on the way to site six speed manual gearbox so you can see the configuration one two three four five right, one two three four five six and reverse is down to nine conventional handbrake nothing electric here nice conventional ratchet handbrake system okay so i believe i've covered quite a lot in this trend obviously it's never going to cover everything in a seven eight minute video but you know i've got over a lot of it if you did have any questions or anything not sure of, please do give one of the sales team a call on 01376 550 899 thank you very much for watching